What's up guys? Kate here from Ruby Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. We are on day three today and today we're actually going to head to the courts and hit some serves and see how fast my serve is. So hopefully, well hopefully it's, hopefully it's close to 130 when I'm hitting it my hardest, but like, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Like I've done my serve tests before or like tested the speed or like, I don't know how you even say that. Like I've tested it or whatever. Um, but it's always when the ball crosses the net. So obviously like the ball is going to lose a lot of speed. So like, I think I was like around like maybe a hundred or something. I also, and it was also in kilometers. So like I'm having a hard time translating there, but for the sake of the video and also I prefer doing um, like measurement of serve speed and MPHs, so that's why we're gonna do it with miles per hour. So we have to get to 130. So we're testing it today. We got the radar gun out, thanks to our baseball team here at school. I'm able to uh, to use that, and yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what happens. Like I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna be. If it's gonna be close to 130, I don't think so. I think I have a little bit of work to do. Uh, hence. Uh, this series. Um, I'm going to take a guess and maybe it will be around like 118, 120 when I'm really pumping it. So I mean 10 miles, like that could be a long way to go, but I think it's doable. But I mean, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm kind of excited right now. I'm just kind of chilling really. Going to take uh, some supplements. I just strung, a, strung my racket because I want to make sure I have a, you know, a good, a good nice full bed of poly as you guys know i'm using that tour line stuff now so uh strung that up and uh yeah i'm gonna play later today i got a class here in the next hour ish so it'll be my last class as a gender and sport class so it'll be nice when that's done uh and then from there i go to the court so yep just kind of living the life here getting ready for practice and class but I guess we'll take the supplements here, but if you guys are interested in the supplements that I am taking, they're pretty like st standard. So like I have a turmeric here, I have magnesium, vitamin C, B12, uh, potassium, and then one that's like a combo of, damn, I kind of forget, calcium and D3, I think. Yeah, calcium and D3. And then I also take actually like, um, I don't know if you guys heard of, like this is not like a sponsor or anything. Um, I also take Bloom, which is very similar to Athletic Greens, if you've heard of that. Uh, a lot of influencers kind of promote the Athletic Greens, but like it's pretty expensive. <laughs> so Bloom is a, a good alternative as well. And yeah, I normally take that actually in my shaker bottle right here. Also, apologies for the room. It's a little messy, but this is raw footage, guys, so whatever. So yeah, I'm normally taking it in my uh, blender bottle. There's still actually a tiny, tiny bit left from this morning. And actually, just today I started putting, um, where'd it go? Um, it's here somewhere, right here. Um, I started putting my creatine in it, so we'll see what happens there. I haven't taken creatine, creatine, there we go, in like almost a year. I'm not taking it during season because it kind of makes me feel a little bit slow on court. So yeah, I just started taking it today because we're doing a lot of gym stuff right now. I'm trying to put on a little bit of muscle, uh, maybe weigh a tiny bit more. And then when it comes closer to season, I'll probably stop taking it or like ease off it. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of that. Um, so Oh man, I hate that. Um, also a big coffee drinker, my little uh, espresso cup. It's like literally like a baby cup. Um, uh, yeah, I love coffee. Started drinking coffee like, I don't know, like a year ago. Um, started drinking it with like milk, but then slowly went to black coffee. Now I drink espresso, so. 
pretty sick, to be honest. I love my little espresso in the morning. Kickstarts the day. But other than that, yeah, keeping it pretty real. Not putting too much shit in my body. Got to keep the, the body healthy. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, the next time I see you guys, I'll probably be on court uh, trying to hit 130. I don't think we'll get there. But, yeah, I guessed around, like, 118, 120. If the gun works, like, how it should. I friggin' hope it works uh, like it should. So yeah, we'll see you guys on court, and yeah, let's uh, let's try and get to 130 here. All right, fam, let's warm up some serves. I gotta get my racket. I forgot my racket over there. <laughs> Forgetting my racket, and I have to serve. Okay. Man, please subscribe to this guy. He deserves it. He's working hard. <laughs> Right Me and here. John, we go really, really way back, back to the freshman year days. We're just gonna warm up here slowly, and then we'll go for some reps. See how fast it is. When I'm warming up, I generally just like to actually start with some shadow swings like this. Of course, before matches, I'm doing like all the bands and stuff. But right now, just warming up some serves. Nice and easy to start. Important to just go with the arms too as well. Then some with just legs. As well as working on some of the different spins. So like kind of faking, practicing a kick serve. Then some with some more slice. And then of course we're working on our flat serve. We want to get it to 130. We're not going to be hitting serves that long. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So I'm starting to, you can kind of also think about it as like a, a phone battery. So if I started like 20% serve, getting up to like 40 or 50% now and also pushing off landing in the court so I probably hit about over 10 balls now entering that 60% effort I'm just warming up here I'm not really like aiming for any targets or anything I'm just kind of putting some spins if I want quick surf here I want to make sure I do get a really, really good warm-up though because I am going to be going all out. I don't want to hurt my elbow or shoulder or even like a hip or something back. You never know. Oh yeah, that was really out. We go, uh, I'll go, you can practice the gun and then we'll see. Oh yeah, you have to go like this. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me try from over here. Weird. Maybe I should stand on the other side. Let me just try one from the other side for you. Aha! Yeah, 93. I'll go T. But give me like two more harder ones. Did you get it? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Okay guys, so I just hit one about 80% and it was about 105. So, I wasn't even really going after it that hard. Here we go, big thanks to John. He's got the gun over there for us. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go six balls. All down the tee, lowest part of the net. Flat serve, here we go. Uh. 120. 
Okay, this is good. We can work with that. That's number one. 118. Okay, this is okay. This is good. Third. 120. Okay, so we're kind of, that were three balls there. We're at about 120, 119 average. All right, so we have number four, rep number four here. Here we go. Get it faster than 120. 123, but in the net. was that one. So we're gonna give one more effort then do a little break here. Go up the tee here. Get over 120. Here we go. 123. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Set number two. 123 the best around 120. I don't know about my math on the average. Gonna go for the tee again. 123. Okay, see if it's popping out here at 123. Uh. 116. Uh. Here we go. Number four. Uh. 123, frig. Let's get it. A big one here. Uh. Uh. Ah! Okay. And just for fun, I'll do like three kick serves. See how fast they are. Sure. Okay, so just gonna throw in some kick serves here just to compare. Wow. Last, my second service. That's not bad, 93 for the kick serve. That was bad. Last two, Johnny. Okay, that's good. So seconds are hovering just above 90, so in between that 92 to 90 range, first serve is about 123, topping out. If I don't hit it on the middle strings, it was around like 115, 118 were some of the lower ones, but I couldn't get above 123. Very nice. Let us know how fast you can serve. <laughs> that's right, right that's there. right. Let us know how fast you can serve in the comments. Johnny was hitting some bombs as well. And 113, if you beat that, let me know. <laughs> yeah. I think only this guy can beat me. But. Yeah, but this guy has a better forehand than I do. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, we are going to play some points now. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Oh. All right, guys. Well, had a good practice today. Uh, we were able to get the radar gun out. I was actually, I'll kind of recap the serves and stuff after, but like, had a good practice. Was gonna bring you guys actually to the gym with me just now, but the mini gym was being used, so I couldn't do the plyo workout that I wanted to with you guys because they didn't have space in there. And I like to kind of be on my own when I'm doing those things for for the space that I need it. I need lots of space to do some of the running and the jumping and the side to side stuff. And also it's easier for me when I'm talking to you guys. So I didn't get that in today, which is kind of shitty. Uh, but I did just come back from a run. So did move the body a little bit after practice. So a little happy about that. Um, but just thinks that I, you know, didn't really get to show you guys that workout, but I will get to show you it. I'll, I'll record it for you guys and, and show you that other plyo workout. I have some other ones that are really good, so we'll be good to show you guys that. But yeah, the practice itself was good today. I didn't I didn't show you guys like everything we practiced, obviously, as you guys saw, like it was just a serve, but honestly, really happy with, I mean, 123, like, 
not to like pat myself on the back, but like I'm like kind of happy with that number. Uh, I know in our first video we said it should be like within 125 to 130. And I did hit a few later uh, when we played some points and it might have been pushing 124, 120, maybe 125. They just sounded crispier and felt pretty good going through the air and looked faster, I guess. But overall, with the gun out, I did hit, I think I must have hit like six or seven, maybe six that were 123. So like, that's not bad. And that's a 130 is a good goal to have. So like, I'm really actually pumped to like really push hard to try and get 130. Um, because also if I can get 130 and like I get stronger and stuff, like it's also going to help my movement and um, everything that I have been doing so far has, but I still think there's like definitely some more notches to, to, to turn it up, I guess. Um, so that's why we kind of got to keep working and keep grinding really and push, but going home here, um, in a few days actually. So I might not be able to get on court as much, but I will be able to push really hard in the gym, uh, which is not a bad thing um, because I can really get, try and get stronger. And uh, we have, uh, you know, I come back after Christmas break and we kind of start our preseason. And then at the end of January, we're going to start our season. So it'll be good to, to keep track, maybe every measure it once a week uh, to see if I can really get to 130. So I'm really excited about this, guys. For my racket people, don't be worried. I know this is different. Some people might really not like it, but sorry, it's my channel. Um, so I'm doing some different things. I might not get a lot of views for these. Uh, maybe they will pick up some more views in the future, but I'm not really concerned or worried about that right now. I'm doing what I want to do. And I'm still going to do racket reviews and stuff. We're just changing it up here a little bit. Um, because it's also good for me to push towards a goal and I thought it would be nice to, to you know, take you guys along it. So that's kind of it. We've got some Fortnite here. Maybe we'll play some of that later. Keeping it real. Like I said at the beginning of the day, I'm sweaty. It's time to shower and wind down for the day. So thanks for uh, stopping by and watching the video. A great day with the radar gun. And yeah, we're going to sign off now. So we'll catch you guys in the next one.